So here is a question two. Um, a bed of mass 15 grams is sliding on a wire. It has a speed of 2.0 meters per second at point A and it stops as it reaches point C. The length of the wire from A to C is 250 centimeters. How large an average friction force opposed the motion of the bit? So this is um, non-conservation of energy. Now remember we said the conservation of energy, um, the initial mechanical energy has to be equal to the final mechanical energy. So now the energy which you are going to have initially has to be equal to the energy which you are going to have um, at the final point. Okay, now since as long as there is friction which is present, meaning that there is some energy which was being lost due to friction. Okay, so we have to add, for us to match this equation, we have to say the mechanical energy initial has to be equal to the mechanical energy final but since as it was going from point A all the way to point C there was another energy which was being lost due to friction so we have to add the work done by the friction okay now this is the formula as long as they mention about uh, friction this is the overall formula the mechanical energy initial has to be equal to the mechanical energy final plus the work done by the friction now the mechanical energy we know that it is the addition of the kinetic energy so we're going to say kinetic energy initial so i'm going to use point a okay kinetic energy at point a plus potential energy at point a has to be equal to i'm going to have now kinetic energy at point c plus potential energy at point c plus the work done by the friction now the question is how large is the friction force? We want to find the friction force. Now what we are going to do here is uh, at point A we have uh, what is kinetic energy? Kinetic energy is half mv squared. So I'm going to say mv at point A plus mgh at point A has to be equal to this one is going to be mv at point C squared then mgh at point C plus the work done is uh, the force which is the friction force and the distance our goal is to find how large the friction force was now let's analyze at point A do we expect to have potential energy yes we expect to have potential energy we also expect to have kinetic energy because we have been given the, the velocity at point A okay that is just okay let's go to the final at point C at point C do we expect to have kinetic energy we don't we don't have a uh, velocity at point C therefore we don't have uh, kinetic energy kinetic energy is going to be zero but since we have the height which is five centimeters we expect to have what eh? the, po uh, the potential energy so the overall equation now is going to be half mv at point a squared plus mgh at point a has to be equal to mgh at point c plus the force which is the friction times the distance our goal is to find the friction force okay I'm, I'm going to shift this to the left hand side I'm going to have half mva squared plus mga minus mghc has to be equal to the friction force and the displacement now at this point we can divide both sides by d even here by d so these two they are going to cancel out and we are going to have um we are going to have our friction force to be half mva squared plus mg h at point a minus mgh at point c everything divided by the distance now we can get rid of this now let's plug in the values now uh, we can see that the distance here the h at a is going to be is 80 centimeters so i'm going to say 80 divided by 100 
so 80 divided by 100 because we want to get the the distance in um, in meters so it's going to be 0 0.8 meters so the HRTC is going to be 0 0.5 meters what else we can also see that the mass is going to be a 15 divided by a thousand because converting grams to uh, cages we divide it by a 1000 so it's going to be 0 0.015 cages what else do we need to convert that is the only thing we should have now now the distance also we can see that it is 250 so I'm going to say 250 divided by 100 which is going to be 2.5 okay so 2.5 is going to be my distance so I have my distance which is going to be 2.5 um, meters now let's plug in the values so our friction force is going to be half the mass is 0 0.2 um, or what I can do to make this equation to be simple I can factor out this part here I'm going to say it's half MVA squared plus I can factor out MG here so I'm going to have HA minus HC then I divide it with D which is better now let's plug in the values we have half times the mass which is 0 0.2 uh, 0 0.05 0 0.015 okay time the velocity is 2 now we have to square it then we have plus the mass 0 0.015 times 9.8 open brackets then h that one is 0 0.8 minus 0 0.5 okay so 0 0.8 minus 0 0.5 so i'm going to divide this by the distance which is 2.5 so first I'm going to do what we have on top there. We are going to have the friction force is going to be 0 0.8 minus 0 0.5. I'm getting 0 0.3. This time 0 0.015 times 0 by times 9.8. So this is giving me um, here I'm going to have plus. I'm getting 0 0.0441 okay remember here this is divided by 2.5 now i have to deal with um this part now this part here okay so i have 1 over 2 is 0 0.5 so 0 0.5 times 0 0.0 um 15 then times it, 2 squared it is 4 i'm going to do just times 4 so I have 0 0.03 so I add them what I'm what are we going to get if I add them this is what we're going to have let me just create space on top here so my friction force is going to be 0 0.3 plus 0 0.0441 I divide this by 2.5 so I'm getting my friction force to be 0 0.0296 four newtons. If I want I can round it off and say my final answer is uh, 0 0.0296 newtons just like this. So in this case this is how large the uh, the friction force is. Okay. So that is it for this question.